Okay, so in today's problem solving, we're going to look at problems from chapter three of Gaskell. <clears throat> and I'd like to begin with problem 3.4. And this is 3.4 from the uh, third edition. And of course, the numbers might change. <clears throat> the basic gist of it is that you have one mole of silicon carbide and you're heating it from t equals uh, 25 degrees c to 1000 degrees c find the change in the enthalpy and the change in the enthalpy Sorry, entropy, enthalpy and entropy. Okay, so let's first switch to a useful temperature scale. 298 and one, two, seven, three, K. And uh, For this problem, we're given the molar constant pressure heat capacity <clears throat> is equal to 50.79 plus 1.97 times 10 to the minus 3 times the temperature minus 4.92 times 10 to the 6 t to the minus 2 plus 8.20 times 10 to the 8 t to the minus 3. So this is joule per mole Kelvin. OK, <clears throat> well, this problem. Uh, centers around recognizing that uh, the change in the enthalpy is the constant pressure change in the heat. And the change in the entropy is Q over T. And of course we have CP is equal to DQ over DTP. Okay, well, that means that the problem becomes integrating uh, delta H is uh, 298 to 12723 uh, N CP T DT. And of course, the problem gives us the molar heat capacity and one mole. So we can just directly substitute. Then delta S is equal to the integral from 298 to 1273 of NCPT dt. <clears throat> and then we've got a polynomial. So let's uh, do a little bit of calculus. Uh, the integral of A plus B T plus C T to the minus two plus 
plus dt to the minus three is equal to a t plus b over two t squared minus c one over t minus d one over two t squared plus a constant. Okay, now we just need to uh, crank through the substitution. Okay, delta H is equal to 50.79 T plus 1.97 times 10 to the minus three over two T squared plus 4.92 times 10 to the sixth over T minus 8.2 times 10 to the eighth over 2t squared evaluated from t equals to 98 to 1, 2, 7, 3. Making these substitutions, we get delta h is equal to 6465.5 seven plus one five nine six point two two plus three eight six four point eight nine minus two five three minus one five one three 5.42 plus 87.49 plus 16510.67 minus 4. Point, whoops, sorry, minus 4616.91, <clears throat> which is equal to 69. Eight six three point seven eight minus two seven one one six point six seven is equal to four two seven four seven point one one joule is the change in the enthalpy. Okay. Moving on to the entropy. Let's see if I can get this all to fit on one page. Huh? Whoops. The entropy means you're going to be integrating uh, A over T plus B plus C T to the minus three plus D T to the minus four D T, <clears throat> which is equal to a log of t plus b t minus c over 2t squared minus d over 3t to the third plus a constant. OK, making our substitutions, we get We get delta S is equal to 50.79 natural log of T plus 1.97. Uh oh. Oh. There it is. Pop my. Uh, Screen went out for a second. Nine seven times ten to the minus three t minus 
negative 4.92 times 10 to the sixth over 2t to the second minus 8.2 times 10 to the eight over 3t to the third evaluated from t equals 298 to 1273. Okay, with substitution, we get is equal to 363.10 plus 2.51 plus 1.518 minus 0 0.1325 minus the quantity 289.36 plus 0 0.587 plus 27.70 minus 10.33, that is equal to 367.00 minus 307.31 is equal to 59.68, uh oh. Uh -oh. Eight joule per Kelvin is equal to delta S. So this relation uh, here and here are uh, important to remember. And I'm going to split this problem solving up into multiple videos because uh, I think I'm having a memory problem on my laptop. So I will see you in the next video.